the pressure is getting worse and worse. <laughs> To my youtube channel my name is imaria asemota and if you are just joining in for the first time this is a faith and lifestyle channel i am a faith and lifestyle youtuber based in lagos state nigeria i think that is too much faith and lifestyle anyways i know that you can see the title of this video let's just say that the pressure the pressure is getting worse and worse <laughs> worse and worse guys so this society is a bad thing to be single like i don't understand it i know that this sounds cliche but i can as well solve world hunger problems and I will still not be termed a success because I am a woman who is unmarried and I am of marriageable age. Guys! Guys! So today I'm going to just be talking about like the worst things that I have heard because I am not married yet. And um... I will tell you what triggered this video but first let me give you small gist so in 2017 i started to teach at a private school here in lagos and i was in the staff room one day writing my lesson notes and a teacher walks up to me and she is like auntie joy is it that is there any man first and foremost we don't have that kind of relationship but i just believe okay so we are colleagues you know go ahead ask me so you don't have any man and uh, when are we coming for your wedding and i'm like no there's no man but i'm not in a rush to get married and she looks at me, she's taken aback, and she's like, Auntie Joy, is this one not a chorus? So, guys, let me tell you guys that my reactions are really very slow. Like, my, what's that word? What's that? <sighs> my response is really slow, like, it can take me like two, two months to react to something that somebody has said in the past that was total nonsense. And I don't say anything, I just smile. Mind you, this was 2017. I was 24, about to turn 25 in 2018. And the, like, I was a teacher and the truth is I did enjoy being a teacher I think that I make a good teacher but that wasn't my end goal I'm still figuring out my end goal so just imagine just imagine a curse for a 24 year old not to be thinking about marriage in truth i do think about marriage in truth i have desired marriage for a very very long time like i've always wanted to get married but the older i get i realize that this is going to be the most important decision that i have to make in life so why do i have to rush to do it the second one that like i've gotten a lot of unsolicited advices but these two in so in 2021 i am sleeping backstory to this my sleeping 
I had gone to bed crying. You know those ugly tears, those ugly, I am over it tears, like my heart was in shambles. And it wasn't because of a man. My rent was expired. My landlord then was disturbing that when was I going to pay my rent? I needed to move out of where I was staying. I could not afford rent. I'd gone to check a house and they called the rent and ah, it was really on the high side. I could not afford rent, guys. And my phone rings early morning by 4 a.m. I'm jumping to the phone because prior to going to bed, I had made some calls crying and explaining to my family members that this is hard. So when I see that call, I'm wondering, because the number wasn't, I didn't recognize the number. So I'm wondering, who is this? Is this a family member calling me? In truth, it was, I needed a miracle, so I was going to pick up anybody's call at that moment. So I pick up that call and my elder cousin is on the line and she calls me and she said, oh, she's thinking about me and she just needs to talk to me about this marriage thing. And truth be told there, eh, what she told me was really messed up, I will tell you. But I understand that I came from a place of love and I have big love for her, but it was messed up. So I'm going to complain about it. So she's like, there's no good man out there. Stop being selective. All of them are bad. Just pick a new one and get married to him. Okay. I'm listening. I'm really patient at this moment. I'm listening. And she's like, you don't want to pick and get married to anyone just give birth just get pregnant guys remember i said i did not have money for rent i don't have money for rent now i'm getting an advice to get married to a non-entity because there are no good men out there or i should bring a child to this world to come and suffer because that's what that advice means. Now, to what's making me do this video? My friend is getting married. In short, my friends are getting married like December, January. Like, I'm going to be going for one best back to back from like December to whenever next year. And I'm so happy about it. So, my friend is getting married. I'm so excited. I'm posting. I'm like, eh! Shout out, girl. You know I'm talking about you. And somebody has the audacity, the temerity, the effrontery to send me, when are you getting married? I'm about to insult the person. But the Holy Spirit is always with me when I'm trying to fight and the Holy Spirit says delete that comment and I say never ask me that question again and this person goes and asks again when are you getting married I'm about to I'm about to go off on my status and the Holy Spirit says block the person in short I don't this time I don't know to be honest I don't even know if it's the Holy Spirit or if it's my human anger I just block the person and then I put it on my status because if you come and ask me that question, eh -eh, I don't think I'll hold back again. And the thing is, it is annoying. Guys, people who are married and who are single and who are of the so-called marriageable age have internal pressure already. There's this internalized pressure because society has programmed us a certain way but the truth is i don't even feel that internal pressure so much again because 
I realized that God makes everything beautiful in his time. And since I have desired marriage for a very, very long time, if it is God's will for me, I know that this is something that is going to definitely happen for me. And I do not have to settle and I do not have to marry somebody that is not good. Because first and foremost, there's a scripture that says, one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. The truth is, a lot of people who are getting married, when they were single, they were not chasing up to a hundred. They were not even chasing fifty. Me personally, I think I'm not even chasing up to two hundred. Do you get? I want to be able to chase a thousand and I look forward to chasing ten thousand. Just me and, you know, somebody's son. But before that time, I'm enjoying this process. Guys, I am not unhappy. Like, see, if you see me unhappy, I'm, think, I'm thinking about, I don't have money. To be honest, I'm a child of God, but I do like money. I'm thinking that, mm -mm, this money not go last. I'm going to do this for every single person who keeps on asking me because I know I do have family members out there. I know that I do have people who watch this video. First and foremost, I'm very fine. I'm happy. I do have my sad days. And trust me, eh? The, the sad days I have because I don't have money. Do you understand? Let's put them on 10 fingers of my hand I like this. The sad days I have because of man is like this. Just one. Like one. Like out of 10 days, I have sad days about my career about my future about my finances about my spirituality about my mental health but i have just like one sad day about man issues to be honest one sad day about man issues i'm consistently at a place where i am growing and i'm learning to be a better person and i'm trying to chase a thousand all by myself do you get? I am building that capacity to chase a thousand. A thousand. Do you understand? Because when I get married, I'll be chasing 10,000 with somebody. That is, each of us are chasing 55,000 5, people. So I'm building my capacity for my thousand. Secondly, I am the apple of God's eyes. And if you're a single person, and you are in the will of God. You are the apple of God's eyes. All of us, every single, in short, every single one of us, both married and single, are the apple of God's eyes. And at the end of the day, God will always do for you that beautiful thing. I am not going to settle for anybody just because I want to call myself Mrs. Somebody. No, that is not going to happen. There are a lot of things to consider when I want to pick a partner to get married. There are a lot of things that are to be considered. I think that that kind of video, I'm going to do it with a couple of friends. So, yes, yeah, just me ranting and just speaking my truth about being single in this time and season. Secondly, I don't like the idea that people don't help people before they get married there are a lot of stories about fathers not allowing their daughters inherit their properties when they die until they are married do you know how many people have gone to shimari or marry rubbish just because they want to inherit their father's property i've also seen cases of family members not coming up not helping their family members when they are starting a business when they're trying to start a career when they're moving to a new town but when they are getting married they are coming together to want to you know celebrate like it is the most important thing in life i'm not saying marriage is not important i know it's important i know it's important because it bets the most important units of um our life system which is um the family but let's make it make sense guys let's make it make sense there's even this thing where people 
disrespects you because you're not married like you would uh, you, normally people actually disrespect women on a normal day even when they are married but it's like the disrespect is more when they are not married because if you're not married at a certain age and how dare you be driving a car you're an asha oh, forgive my french but guys we need to do better in this society and nobody should come for me because see if you want to try some try jesus don't try me i will throw hands really because i'm sick and tired of not reacting to people telling me that i'm either cursed or that i should settle for somebody guys you guys need to calm down mm -mm. calm down people calm down i do not have marriageable income I do not have marriageable life skills. Since you want to be saying marriageable age, do you understand? I am building. I'm trying to have sense. Let me have sense in peace. And the truth is, I'm not saying that I would have to get all of the knowledge and all of the money before I get married. But at least now, let's start from somewhere. A lot of people do not have sense and they are getting married. And the truth is, the reason why marriages are failing today, in this time and in this season, is because... You guys keep on forcing people to get married. You guys keep on pressuring people to get married. And if the reason why you're getting married is because your mates are getting married, my dear, you're not ready for that stuff. Take a chill pill, sit down. Or it's because people are telling you you're old enough to get married. That you're old enough doesn't mean you have sense. Anyways, guys, I'm talking too much. I have to end this video now. It's getting so long. I hope I can cut it. But... Guys, this was nice doing. I didn't know I was going to talk for this long, but at least this is something that I'm very passionate about, as you can see. Anyways, thank you for watching all of my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Mwah! Love you!